Morning, everyone. It is Saturday, September 19th, 2020. Uh, I know Allison doesn't like me to do the weather, but I'm going to do it anyways. It is uh, it's like 40 degrees outside. Uh, and supposed to be up to 60s, mid-60s today. Yep, 39 degrees right now. 46 degrees right now. Sorry, it was 39 degrees an hour or so ago. Um, so anyway, so you... California folks or whatever that you think it's uh, super nice it's not it's 39 degrees or 46 anyways um, it's supposed to be a nice day uh, here uh, I don't know how many more of those we got left uh, I'm gonna start getting colder all the time anyways so today we are going to do um, we're gonna find some ads on Facebook uh, and we're gonna run numbers um, just off of the ads uh, and we're going to see if they are deals, if they are steals, or if they are trash. Not worth our time. Um, so anyway, so I think um, uh, I just pulled, there's a Facebook group called Indianapolis Off-Market Deals. I don't know if it's any, I mean, I'm a member, been there for a while. Occasionally go in and look, see if there's anything that's worth buying. Um, shows up on my feed a lot. Um... And so anyway, so we'll look and uh, a couple deals. Uh, looks like I found a single family. I haven't even researched it yet. Um, and then I also found a multifam. Um, and again, I haven't researched it yet. So we'll do that all live here in a little bit. Oh, nice. I am erroring out right now. Uh, let's see here. Dream Health was excellent at 922, and now we've got poor performance. So let's see if this continues to fix itself or if we are good or not. I'm going to continue on, assuming that it's just slow to update. Um, anyways, so we're going to go through these two houses um, and see if they are deal steals or trash. Um, if you guys have something you want me to look at instead, then let me know. Um, or if you want me to do a future show, we can do that too. Uh, as always, we do a lot of rehabs for people, so uh, a lot of this stuff is just numbers that we usually run with. Um, a lot of stuff has changed recently, so I'm going to get into that a little bit. Um, we are finding, um, you know, we have certain LVP, luxury vinyl plank flooring systems that we like. Um, we buy both Shaw and we buy Mohawk. Um, Shaw Prime Plank and Mohawk. Batavia 2, I think is what we buy. Anyways, I've noticed lately that um, we've been running into issues with supply. Um, so it's like a month ago I ordered uh, about 4,000 square feet of flooring. Uh, maybe it's only 3,000. Um, ordered about 4,000 square feet, uh, 3,000 square feet of flooring. Um, and m the prime plank was out of stock until November. Um, and so we ordered uh, the Batavia 2, got it in, everything was fine. Uh, we've been going through flooring a little bit more than normal. Um, so I needed to put in another order this past week and the Batavia 2 is now out of stock until November or December. Uh, and the um, Prime Plank is back in stock. So um, I ended up having to order the Prime Plank um, so it's just kind of been an issue there. Yesterday we were putting in a dishwasher, uh, at one of our properties and, um, normally we would buy it from Lowe's. Lowe's is out of stock until middle of November on dishwashers. So I got online, uh, Maynard's, Menard's, um, and the east side location, which is the biggest one I think in Indy, um, totally out of stock on dishwashers. Uh, but we did find one down on South Emerson um, at the Menards there. So we ordered that and my guy's going to pick it up today and install it. So we're running into that sort of stuff. I think um, last week or week before I was told that uh, the price of lumber was up over 30%. And then I heard somebody else say that it was up over 50 or 60%. Um, so a lot of prices have been changing uh, with this market that we're going into so and a lot of stock is hard to find um, I'm still getting the errors that we're 
not streaming healthily. Healthily, healthily, is that a numbers game? Um, stream settings, do I see anything in here? Let me look here. Hmm. So I'm gonna continue on, hopefully this thing is still working, you guys can see me. Um, so another thing, so I've got a bank project going on. We bought a 1900s bank. Uh, we are in the process of getting it to um, concrete block walls, um, studs, but a lot of the studs are rotted out. Um, this house, this building um, had uh, holes in the roof, and I don't mean like leaks. I mean like big, massive holes in the roof. Uh, and so anyway, so um, multiple years of rainwater coming in has routed out a lot of stuff. So we are um, in the process of getting into studs. And so just so happens in one of the back rooms, uh, well, let me just say that this was an old bank. Um, and in the basement, um, the basement had a vault room because there was a big vault safe door. But because of so much moisture, so much water, and stuff like that, this door is just basically useless. It's all rotted out, so we're gonna have to just yank it. Uh, but anyways, it, it's a basement room, so I probably won't even yank it. I'll just leave it down there because nobody's ever gonna go down to the basement. Anyways, long story short. So that's where the safe is, is in the basement. So yesterday I was over there and we're in the process of getting in all the studs on the main floor. Um, and then we got to the back and um, there's a little itty bitty room. I would say it's maybe not itty bitty. I mean, it's probably eight by 12. So it's decent size. I mean, you could consider it a bedroom if it wasn't a commercial building. Um, <clears throat> but um, my guy had gutted it down to basically the walls. And uh, as I walked in, I could hear a thunk, 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 thunk. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And then I start looking around. The walls are three quarter inch thick steel. And uh, I was in the process of trying to upload the video so that I could show you guys, but um, it's taking forever to pull it off of my GoPro camera. Um, so we probably won't get to see that. Uh, but anyways, but yeah, three quarter inch steel. And then they had um, to secure the wall. There you go. Um, <laughs> I get to hit you, what is it? Um, Anyways, to secure to the wall, they had inch thick um, um, flathead bolts, nuts, whatever you want to call them, bolts, um, to tapered bolts to put it in there. So they're about an inch thick. The head on these screws is about, or bolts is uh, an inch thick. So it's really pretty cool. Anyway, so I'll try and get some video up later. Maybe we'll watch it next week. Um, uh, my video did just upload, but I don't want to go looking for it on your guys' dime. So anyway, so all right, so let's uh, let's just kind of get into this. Um, we'll talk about uh, these properties, uh, single family and a multi, and we'll see if there's any good deals here. Okay, so this is the first one that I found. Um, it's uh, from the Mainstay Group. Um, I'm. I don't know if I'm, I'll, I'll just give my normal, uh, what I want to say, disclaimer. I don't know if this is a deal. I don't know if it's a steal. I don't know if it's trash. Um, I'm not trying to pick on these guys. Uh, I'm just running numbers and seeing if it's a deal or what it is. Um, and then anybody else down below. I mean, I would try and hide who's advertising it, but they wrote their own ads. And unfortunately, I can't. My screen, unless I zoom in, I'm gonna, you're gonna, guys are gonna know who's doing this, so I'm not gonna even try and hide it. Um, we'll do this multifam next here, um, and we'll see what kind of numbers we can run on these things real quick. All right, so this one here is in Lawrence Township. A lot of people don't know, but Lawrence Township is a little bit harder to evict. Um, so, you know, that's one thing to, you know, if you got to go to court, then you're going to, you know, you're going to be facing stricter requirements and stuff like that. I don't know if that's necessarily a deterrent for this property, but, um, you know, it's just something else to consider. Um, I grew up in Lawrence Township, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, the property values are, are drastically lower because I grew up there. 
Uh, but other than that, all right, so 3845 Delmont Drive. Let's just pull a quick CMA on this bad boy. Um, okay, so... Um, I see our subject property in this list I do not okay so um, our subject property is I'm looking for neighborhoods at this point I'm gonna look and see what neighborhood this is in it's in Glicks East 38th Street um, taxes on it we're gonna run cash flow numbers on it um, uh, that's not what I want All right, so um, let's pull out some of this stuff here. Taxes on this property are four fifty a year. That's dirt cheap, dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. And land assessment is forty five hundred. So I'm gonna put this in here. Uh, what do we just say? Four fifty. Uh, that seems dirt cheap. Um, and then what we say? Forty five hundred. Is that what we said? Let's look. Four fifty taxes. So it's assessed at fifty four nine. Um, and 4,500 for, um, what call it? Now, theoretically, we're supposed to go to 2% on the property taxes once it becomes investor owned. Um, all right, so Glicks East 38th Street. Okay, so what I wanna look at here, this is all of these properties. Um, and I just wanna make sure that we're in the same neighborhood. Glicks East 38th Street here. Now, so there's some of these properties get up to 110,000 in value. So these are IPS, this is Lawrence Township. Now I don't know, I'm gonna assume Glicks East 38th is IPS, different school district. So it's not Lawrence Township schools probably. All right, so um, four bedroom, two bath, that one sold for 78.5. This one is a five bedroom, two and a half bath and that sold for 106.5. Uh, three bedroom, one and a half bath. What's the subject property? Three bedroom, one bath, a uh, little ranch, itty bitty. Um, so I'm a little concerned about this ARV. Um, let's go back here. So this is a five bedroom, two and a half bath. It's 2,587 square feet. That's main and upper, does not include a basement. Yeah, there's total square footage here, it's 2,587. Our subject property is um, zoom up, 1,609 square feet. <laughs> Morning, Allie. Morning, Frank. Um, So here's a listing. Um, this was a while ago though, because of those numbers. Um, yeah, this is 2008, but um, so our square footage is 1,600 square feet. So that's a far cry off from this 2587. Um, so this is a 1,600. It sold for 72.8. Let's look at that. And is that in our? Uh, no, that's Grassy Creek. So. Let's look at this one here, this high priced Glix that was 1988 square feet. This is a four bedroom, two full bath. Um, looks decent on the front. Looks like they had some sort of a screen material over this so they could hang out inside. Well, the kitchen is updated. Living room, yeah, it could use some updates. The, paneling on the walls and stuff like that. Maybe a fresh coat of paint, fresh coat of paint. Uh, the bathroom needs some work. This, look at that bathroom and uh, laundry room all in the same room. And they've got some heat issues. So there's your shoe rack. Anybody need some shoes? Shoes. Uh, I don't know what that is, garage. Did it have a description on that? No, nah, no description. Storage barn. 
All right, so we're back to the beginning. So, all right, so that one sold for 78.5. How long was it on the market for? 160 days. Um, and they, it was an investor who bought it for cash. So there's 80,000. Um, let's look at the pictures on our deal. Got a newer roof. Ah, it's got a window AC unit right here. So that means it does not have central air or it does not work. Uh, we got what pictures of the screens. Is that a newer window? Maybe it's a newer window. Mm, newer kitchen cabinets. That's not bad. I definitely would give it a repaint inside. It's going to need some fixings. Um, but we're going to be repainting anyways. Um, what they do? Do they convert a garage? Let me look back here. There's a garage still. Um, trying to understand what this room is. So we got flooring throughout. We got paint throughout. Um, a lot of weird pictures here. Uh, newer French doors on the back. Pit bowl in the house. Pit bowl in the house. Kitchen. Living room. I can't tell. It looks like tile floors underneath those. Dude. Clear the pictures up, brother. I can't tell if that's a garage. I can't tell what that is. Let's just add pictures just to add pictures. So it looks like there was some framework here. I'm not really sure what they did wrong. Furnace has seen better days. Looks like a relatively new water heater. Um, at first, when I saw this, I thought this is asbestos, but I doubt it. It's probably just been painted. Um, some holes in the wall. Let me clean out. So it's a repaint. Some patchwork. Yeah, let's just not even move for the pictures. Uh, let's see, clean out paint work, new flooring. Clearly there's HVAC issues. Yep, another window unit. Can't tell what all that is. Love is in the air. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's some definite work needed to be done here okay uh let's see in the ad what did they list they said rehab about 20 grand oh yeah that sounds sounds realistic so they want 59.9 79.9 i think that that is market price i think 80,000 is about what this house is worth um this was the original listing from back in 2008 and it sold for 8,500 um there was no interior pictures um so this one sold for 80 um and it was refreshed uh i think you're gonna have a hard time getting more than that this one sold for 106 but it's 2600 square feet um Three days on the market. Uh, it was conventional loans. It wasn't FHA. This one was 109. Oh, this one's smaller. 1,096. Is this Lawrence Township Schools or IPS? This one's all brick, though. Was our subject property all brick? Um, Grassy Creek Village. Oh, it is IPS schools. Hmm. So, uh, how nice was this one on the inside? So it's a brick front. Hmm. Oh, the 
carpet inside, so they flipped this one. And they repainted the kitchen cabinets. Not bad looking. They put an LVP in the kitchen. Um, Most of this neighborhood is brick front, probably, or brick. Um, okay, we're back to the beginning. So this one sold for 109. Resale. It doesn't say whether they pay cash or how they did the loan on this one. So 1099, 110, Grassy Creek Village again, brick. Um, so where are these at? Let's mark these here. And we are going to come back. So kind of across the street. What's this one selling for? It's a rental at 945. 900 rental, 935, 915, 728. This one sold for 728. This one was 115. So it could be a neighborhood difference here. So this neighborhood could be different values than this neighborhood because this seems to have the higher valued houses. Um, I'm not seeing 56. There's 106.5. So maybe, I don't know. If you got it, if you, it might be better for a flip deal is what I'm thinking than a rental. Um, let's go back here and look at our results again and let's look and see how much we think it'll go for for rent. Um, Glicks East 38th is up to 900, three bedroom, one bath, 925 square feet. So between eight and 900. All right, so let's run those numbers on it. All right. So I think we have enough info to go off of. So, um, purchase price, 59 dollars nine. $20,000 in renovations. You're probably going to have $1,000 in closing costs. Um, let's say we get eight fifty. dollars That's between the 800 and the 900 number. Uh, we're going to put in 8% for that. We're going to put in 10% because we don't, we're going to have to do a bunch of work to it, but also, um, which we call it, that's two, which we'll just get us equal out. Property management is 10%. 450 taxes. Property insurance is probably going to run you 550. Maybe a little bit more than that because we're saying that the value is higher. So 650. Um, so cash flow on this, uh, 503.33. So not too bad. So now cap rate wise, it's about a seven and a half cap. Um, now if we did a um 70 percent loan uh let's say it was i don't know and you guys are getting loans i'm not doing loans right now 5.25 percent um well i don't know can you get 4.5 i don't know 30 years 4.5 your cash flow drops down to 216.39 um it's about 10 percent now if you That would be a loan value of 56,000 on this property. Now, so that would make you about an almost 11% return on this property. Um, now, if we bump this up, let's say it was appraised at 109. So what do I need to add? Let's say, oh, let's say it was appraised at 100. I don't know if it would be or not. Well, so let's just bump this up, 79.9. So it appraises at $100,000. You get a loan for $70,000. That drops our cash on cash to 5.77. Now, granted, um, you would get 70,000 back. You've got, what, $10,000 in the property, um, right? 79.9, isn't that what he said? Now, where was that ad? Yep, all in 79.9. So you'd still have 10 grand into the property. Um, so a loan of 70,000. So it would change your numbers. Um, 10,000. Yeah. So anyway, so is it a deal for you? I don't know. That's a decision for you to make. We go back to where we were 
59.9, right? 7.5% if you do cash, 10.7 if you cash out refi and get a $56,000 loan on it. So, all right, let's do another one. Hold on. All right, so let's look at the multifam below. Multifam below, vacant duplex in Englewood area, left side, three bedroom, one bath, right side, three bedroom, one bath. Each side has its own water heater, electric panel, and furnace. Rents uh, has its own water heater, electric panel, and furnace. Rents are average 725. So right here, this makes me question who pays what utility wise. Um, so I'm thinking that because they say electric panel, then the, each tenant pays their own electricity. Um, let's see here, vacant property with lockbox out, so when the contractor purchases property, please perform your own due diligence. Contract is as is for all cash. Also, you can, I'm okay, that's just normal cred. Um, Looking at the back of the house, I see one power line coming in. Now that doesn't mean that we don't have two separate meters, but that's what I'm seeing. So looking for electricity. Of course we have two pictures. Uh, is there any other picture somewhere? Okay, good. Love is in the air. This isn't the same house. Not the same house. So we can't run the numbers on this bad boy. Um, I mean, we can run the numbers on this thing, but we have no pictures to go by. Looks like these are older windows. And maybe they're newer windows, but they're going to need some work. I just can't tell what we're dealing with here. Um, like there's at least one older window back here maybe a couple of these there's some siding issues I don't know I mean we don't know what we're dealing with here um, he wants 60,000 for it yeah we need to find a better property to analyze can't even can't link to this guy all right so let's see here this is a single family this is a single family uh, I think that's a single family is there any pictures yep single family so we're not gonna do a single family Daniel Goodall this is a multi is it Eight bedroom, two bath house. Nice. What is the address, baby? 2724 Paris Avenue. Uh, I think it's multi. Yeah, it's multi. Do we want to try and run numbers on this bad boy? <laughs> Not in this show. <laughs> Uh, I just, you can't, I mean, I, I can't do it for pictures. I would have to go out and look at this property. Yeah, I just don't know. Uh, we're not going to even try. Um, 80,000. <clears throat> <laughs> what not to do, okay? What's the address, baby? All right, so let's see here. 2724 Paris Avenue. All right, we're going to do it anyways. I'm just going to. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling the need, the need for speed. What do we say, 2724 Paris? Hmm. Is that 
2724 Paris Avenue. Is that even an address? It is an address. It is a duplex. Um, so it's zoned as a duplex. We already saw it was a duplex, but this guy's listing it as a single family house, right? You know what he said? Eight bedroom, two bath house. No, dude, it's it's a multifam. Um, all right, so let's 2724 Paris. Oops. 2724 Paris Avenue. There we go. Let's see here. Now this is a single family comp, so this is not multifamily. Um, so, oh, it's right in the area of one of my other properties. Uh, anyways, um, but the way the MLS works, they only list out um, the rentals um, in the single family listing. So if I go to multifam, we won't see multifamily comps. Um, we won't see the rents for multifamily comps. So this one here, four ninety five a month. These are probably multifam because it's three different ones here at the same address. Um, so let's just start looking through here. Oh, that looks single family to me. So they were having some bad luck renting it, looks like. Um, so is that multi? Looks single. Single, there's a double. So 650, that's a two bedroom, one bath on each side. Single family, single family, single family, single family, single family. Here's a multi-family, isn't it? Is this? Oh, that's for sale. All right, so I don't have a lot of comps on this. Um, 26th and 65. So I'm going to go with my standard numbers on this. All right, so let's look at this bad boy. I mean, come on. I gotta do a bunch of yard work there. There's probably you're gonna trim up a bunch of trees. There's probably a couple grand there. These windows are all I can't tell if they're newer or older or what they are. I'm gonna need paint and flooring throughout. I'm gonna have to do some drywall work. Um, how big is this bad boy? 1,310 square feet, probably per side. I would say. Um, has it ever been listed before? I am not seeing a listing on it before. All right, so 1,300 square feet per side. So there's probably, I mean, there's a lot of rehab here. Um, we got flooring, we got paint, so there's probably $2,600 worth of paint in this place, probably $3,000, $4,000, $3,500 maybe, because we're going to have to do some drywall work, you got issues up here, um, paint, drywall, you're going to have issues with the kitchens, the living rooms. Let's just take one side. So let's say you got let's say you got two grand in interior paint. You probably got what four thousand dollars in flooring. So we're at six grand. You probably got some bathroom issues here. You got to fix some stuff in this bathroom, right? I can see the, the staining on the toilet and the seat that's staining on this thing here. So there's probably, we're at six, so probably seven. The kitchen's probably got a, yep, the kitchen is a mess. So we probably got another 1,000 there, so we're at eight. So I still don't even know if these are newer windows. Oh yeah, that bathroom's a mess. So there's at least 10 grand aside, at least 10 grand aside. Probably more like fifteen grand aside. 
uh, by the time you're said and done with. So you got like 30 grand worth of work that needs to be done. Yeah, there's siding issues here. Um, the hallways are a mess. Um, yeah, there's probably 30 grand worth of rehab in this property. Um, and we don't know, we don't know, he wants $80,000 for this house. All right, let's just run the numbers. <laughs> um, so let's say he gets um, 650 a side. So what do we get? Yeah, well, it's probably like $1,300. Um, we're going to do 12% vacancy rate because it's multifam. We're going to do 10%, definitely 10% for that. We're going to do another 3% here just for fluff. 10% uh, for property management, so it puts us at 35% operating costs. The taxes on this bad boy are $14.20 a year. Um, Property insurance is probably five fifty a year. He wants what did he want? Seventy nine nine hundred. Come on, dude. Seriously. Um, all right. It's awesome, dude. It's fine. It's fine. I'm telling you what. What do we say? Thirty thousand dollars in rehab. Thousand dollars there. Assessed land value. What did we say the assessed land value is? Do we want to mess with this? Four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Um, we're going to add in our standard every year. We're going to swap out tenants, so it's going to cost us probably a grand per side. So it's two grand a year for that. Just the tenants do not stay long in multifams, um, so we're just going to have to work through it. All right, so 79.9, we're going to add in this two grand. So our cap rate is 5.56%. Now let's just say that I could get a loan on this. this 30 years four and a half percent um we were cash flowing five hundred dollars a month now after this oh wait did it not add in one mortgage payment annual interest rate like 4.5 30 percent yeah 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 oh i forgot to put this in up here uh 70 percent so it's even worse on cash on cash return um, so you wouldn't want to get a loan on this 5.56% on the um, cap rate. So is this a deal? No, I wouldn't say this is a deal. I would walk. I would not be interested in this property at this price. I mean, even if you bump these up to 1,400, so 700 aside, which I just don't even know if that's possible in this kind of an area. You're still only looking at a 6.27% cap rate, 6.7% um, on uh, cash on cash return for loan. I mean, let's go stupid and say you got, yeah, I mean, it's not even worth figuring this stuff out. 750 aside, 7% 7 cap rate, still not good. You know, there's just too many hassles with multifams that this is just not a good price. So anyway, so, so that's that. Um, so what else is going on with you guys this morning? Um, that one's just horrible. Um, it's Indianapolis duplex to house hack. Yeah, 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 yeah. West side duplex. Okay, so one bedroom, one bath. These are always extremely painful to rent. Um, just extremely painful to rent. Um, yeah, I don't think that's possible. Um, and we could pull it up 1256, 1258 West 33rd Street. The problem with one ones is, is the very limited clientele. You're going to get a single person usually. Um, and they got to get along with their neighbor. Um, and I just, they're hard to find people who will rent those and then stay in them. So here's a 11425. Here's a 11500. Here's our 11500. So what did they say? Yeah, 1000 a month, right? Um, 21, 21, 21. There's, there's not even compatible here. So what's our property address? 1256. 
So you're going to rent it for 500. So let's run the numbers real quick. Hold on. Can I reset this? I can't really reset this. I think most of this will be the same. So let's, it's a thousand a month, right? Uh, yeah, let's just reset. Home, new form, thousand a month, right? You're going to have a 12% vacancy rate. You're going to have 10% property management. You're going to have, we're going to even this out 3% for fluff. Um, 10% property management, real estate school and taxes on this bad boy are, um, what did we say the address was? 1256, 1258. Is this the same one? Nope, different one. Uh, is that right? 1256 West 33rd. There we go. So, um, what do we say this property taxes? Total amounts, 283 a year. That's nice. Let's see, something's not right. Is this a, did I shoot the right address? 1250 West 33rd, right? 1256 West 33rd. So that's a lot. No, that's a duplex. But there's no, uh, so this assessment is wrong. Improved assessment 3,800, 3,400. This is saying that this is just a basically a vacant lot. So this assessment could change and could change drastically. Um, so let's put in the numbers. So what we just say it was 283 a year. I mean that might be the saving grace on this property. I don't know, but if the city catches wind, then all of a sudden you could be at. Twelve hundred bucks. I don't know. So we'll run it with that number, but I don't think that's something you could count on. Five fifty. Um, got all that. Purchase price for the property. How much do they want for it? They want twenty four nine. Oops. Twenty four nine hundred seventy percent. Um, they say twenty thousand dollars in rehab. Thousand dollars in closing costs. 45.9, I don't know what they said, 20, it doesn't really matter right now. $3,400 for land value. Um, so it's about a 15 cap rate, if that's right. Uh, oh, I forgot to add in my customary swap out fees. So it's a 10.82% cap rate. Um, in I, don't know. I, I just this one is as hard to predict because this taxes right here makes me nervous um, what I say 4.5 10.82 cash uh, if you did loan 21.88 but you'd have to have, find a bank that could loan thirty two thousand dollars on the property and if you bought it for 24.9 you put 20 into it 45 thousand so it's not a I mean not a bad price I mean I didn't look at the pictures um, but it's a 1-1. One, one. They're hard to rent. I would say it's even higher vacancy rate. Um, well, this is rough. Yeah, this is rough. I think 20 grand is probably low number. Yeah, this is really rough. Yeah, I think it's more like 30 or 40 grand to rehab this place. Yeah, you got kitchens here. The kitchen's probably going to run you a couple grand uh, at a minimum. Um, you got walls, you got flooring. Um, what did we just say? How many square feet? 600 square feet. So you probably got two grand in flooring. You got two grand for kitchen. The bathroom is probably shot. Um, show me the bathroom. Show me the money. The tub looks a little rough. That's stucco on the exterior. Oh, big tree. That's going to cost some money. 
What is this? These are pictures of a different house, or is this the back of our house? Probably the back of this house. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I think that 20K number is low. I think it's probably more like 30K or 40K. Um, so that even drastically changes our numbers. Because this is going to cost a couple grand just to get a tree crew out there to remove that tree. So let's just look at it. So you got um, two grand in flooring per side. So that's four grand. Well, let's just do one side. Two grand for flooring. You got paint throughout. So let's say that's another 750. So that's 2750. Um, you've got um, kitchen. That's probably going to run you another couple grand. So you're at what, 4750? Um, there's probably windows throughout that need to be replaced. Um, I can't see. Anyways, so windows throughout that need to be replaced. Um, so that's probably another couple grand. So there's 6,500, 6,750. Then there's who knows what the status of the roof is. Um, there's just a lot of work here. I don't think it's a 20K rehab. I think you're talking more like. 15 or 20 per side. So there's a lot of work there. I, you know, I'd have to see it in person to really make a judgment call. All right. Any questions, any comments, leave them below. Click the like if you like this video. This one was a little hard today. So uh, anyways, uh, questions, comments, whatever, put it down below. Um, if you have any, whatever. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, have a good weekend. Don't have too much fun. Don't do anything I would do. Uh, all right, guys, thank you. Have a good weekend.